I don't know if you guys can tell, but every single neighbor of mine, every single one, even going down the block, everybody's home. I'm literally the only one going out to work. That's crazy. So the schedule for today guys is I'm on my way to the Bay Area. I gotta go change a receiver, a filter dryer, and part of the discharge line on a condenser for a freezer. I think it's a freezer and yeah, freezer or cooler, one of those. Uh so thank god today I have a full schedule. So I'll probably even get some overtime. Uh tomorrow I have two service calls I think two or one i don't know and then after that it's it's up in the air i don't i don't know i don't know um i mean i don't think we have anything because we've been pretty pretty slow um basically 90 percent of the company shut down except uh management and uh the service department which is about seven of us i think um, but everybody else shut down and stock crew, sheet metal, um, maintenance guy. I mean, everybody. I mean, who else? Um, fire protection. No, no, not fire protection. Fire protection is still open because uh, it's it's fire protection, so they need that. But other than that, guys, like about 90% of the company shut down. So it's it's getting pretty real out here in the Bay Area because it's super hard to work like i said because the barrier is shut down so basically just taking it one day at a time you know trying to stay clean got those rubber gloves in the back so right now i'm on my way to rz pick up the things that i need and then uh head over to the barrier i don't know if you guys can tell but uh there's paperwork saying that we can go inside uh, so I'm gonna have to call them and tell them to bring the things I need. Damn. All right, guys. I was wrong. It's not the receiver. I think it's the Q. I, I forgot the proper name for it. It's a uh, suction accumulator. So that's that. And then I got the filter dryer. So we're good. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I mean, the guy had to bring it out and he couldn't even, I mean, he kind of just left it right there in my van. So it was funny. Uh, so I got that. I got 404. So we're good with that. My freaking torch is broke. So I'm going to have to use my turbo torch. All right, let's go. It's also crazy, guys, that outside this RSD, everything's complete. There's, there's nobody. No trucks, nothing. And usually, um, usually this RSD is full packed with uh, techs and vans and everything. So, um, the guy was telling me that they're pretty, 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 pretty slow. That I guess they laid off a bunch of people at the, at the RSD, so. Oh Jesus, I mean we'll see how it goes. So this is what I'm working with guys. 166 PSI, 8 PSI, almost zero. Um what I did, that way I wouldn't have to recover the system. I just pumped it down to the receiver, closed down the receiver, pumped it down hooked up the gauges here just to verify that there's no pressure here um, and basically what I'm taking off is this this and then the filter dryer in the back and that's basically it so let me go ahead and start taking all the panels off 
breakers pop. So. So I was going to take this line originally off because what that's what they recommended but I looked at it on the bottom and it's perfectly fine so I mean there's really no point um, here's the suction so this thing can go both ways so I'm going to go ahead and put a cord, cord in there put this right there So we have our first issue guys the original one as you guys can tell it's about shoot probably like nine inches about nine inches this is way bigger so i'm gonna have to repipe it so i might need a 90. Probably don't have none. Okay, that should work. Uh, 90s were the one thing I had to stock up on and I completely forgot. I'm gonna go ahead and just take these and uh, see if I can make it work. Also guys, just a quick tip, anytime I install things like this or having to remove a compressor or whatever I always like to take out the old ones and put new ones in new shredded cords it's just I don't know it's just a habit that I have so.
I'll go ahead and let it run for maybe two more minutes. Let the pressure go through. Cylinder note is calling, temperature is calling. And then I'm gonna go ahead and soapy bubbles with the whole thing. So. Let's turn it back on. Sixty seven. Fans are still off. You can already see the frost on the EVAP. That's good. So this should be turning on any moment. It's funny guys, cause in this place, they're just afraid if somehow they get locked up, they're gonna open this up. I don't know. glass is clear all right guys so uh pressures are looking good side glass is full it's not flashing no bubbles nothing fans are running right now it started at 60 degrees and it's already at 20 something degrees so we're good now i'm gonna go ahead and just put the panel back on and um uh, wait down there I noticed that the temp control was set to negative 20. Um, the unit ran till it hit 28 degrees and then shut off. I adjusted the temp control a little bit lower and boom, kicked on. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace the temp control because there's no way it should be that low. I mean, and it still wasn't running. And that's the reason why guys anytime you guys come to a job and you guys replace a part that was recommended by somebody else go ahead and just check the unit just a little quick search you know what i mean just check tank control little things like that because um, imagine if i didn't check it i mean I w it would have been a callback so it's super important to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and replace it with one of these and we should be good Alright guys, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Inside the walk-in is about 30 degrees. There's the new temp control. You're gonna you guys are gonna hear the little click. And it's clicking about 45 degrees. So 
that's the new one and the old one is clicking at the negative 20 so it's way off calibration all right guys so power's back on let's go ahead and go down Go ahead and wait till it drops all the way down to set temperature. I need to take this off. like hey man thank you for everything I'm like, yeah no problem and he's like hey uh, uh i can't i can't give you money for a tip but i can give you a fucking roll of fucking toilet paper and i was hell laughing he was laughing but low-key i was like you know what fuck like let me get some fucking toilet paper you know what i mean i mean that's basically money now uh but yeah man i mean to be honest with you guys we were fucking we're we're slow like we're bad so i mean there's nothing you can, you can get mad about at the company because it's literally i mean it's it's everybody you know what i mean so i mean this sucks i feel the only ones that are pretty good are the supermarket refrigeration guys because supermarkets are still open and they're probably more busy now than before but yeah guys i mean hold on oh Oh yeah, also, I ordered some new glasses because mine are all freaking scratched up and I can't even go pick them up because they're closed. So I'm literally driving with this whole side all chipped up and everything. Scratched, I mean. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to RSD in Livermore, uh, pick up some things that I need, like a, my torches that broke uh, and something else, I forgot what else. But yeah, man, I mean, let me know how you guys are dealing with, I know uh, Norco Dave out there in Santa Cruz, uh, I guess he's only working two days a week and luckily he has his own company to bring extra income. So, I mean, it's hard out here for us guys. I mean, not nah, probably every every major city, but I mean, now here for us in San Francisco, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, my other friends in my other company, I, will, I still talk to them every day and they were telling me that they only they're only working two hours a week i mean a day maybe four five ish if they're lucky and that's it you know what i mean and again guys there's nothing we can get mad about i mean it's just damn people going crazy I mean, it's, it's what it is though so let's go ahead and take lunch and uh then go home all right guys so change of plans i'm on my way to work on a nice machine i guess it's not working properly uh i'm not gonna film that because it's right on the drive through so i mean if you get worked on on fast food restaurants you cannot film on a drive through ice machine it's like impossible uh so yeah so hope you guys enjoy the video guys uh let me know how you guys are still dealing with this for me personally it's 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 hard right now because i mean works slow down crazy um and there's no fucking toilet paper but i mean i guess that's what everybody's going through uh but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video guys um later
Thank you.